What's up, Gromies? Welcome to the Floorganics channel, where we grow cannabis organically. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Real Growers Recharge. So if you like this type of content, smash that thumbs up button for the algorithm, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future updates. Now, I really want to talk about recharge because I get numerous questions every week about what microbes do I recommend and not only which ones do I recommend, but is this one better or is that one better? And the one thing I really want us to focus on, Gromies, is, you know, when you're looking at these packages, there's going to be a lot of things in there that are not listed on the label. As crazy as that sounds, if you listen to these podcasts where these guys talk about some of the products, that does take place quite often. Now, my personal opinion, I've used almost every, you know, microbial inoculant on the market, and I got to say Recharge does stand out hands down. Now, the first thing that I want to say about Recharge is that right on the front of the label, it does say that, you know, healthier plants in 48 hours guaranteed. And that's a fact. You know, if you're having trouble with your plants, whether it's a, you know, just an unhealthy rhizosphere, rhizosphere or, you know, an imbalance in your pH and your rhizosphere, whatever the case may be, the Recharge is definitely going to have all of the microbes and the rest of the humic and the fulvic acids in there to really help bring, you know, your, your rhizosphere back to full health. Now, the first thing that I want to touch on with Recharge is that it is going to help increase your overall plant health, yes, but there's multiple products in this one package. So, for example, it is loaded with molasses. So, if you're feeding your plants molasses and your waterings, whether it's every other watering or whatever the case may be, if you're feeding Recharge, you can go ahead and get rid of that. It's also got kelp in there. So you've got kelp and molasses additionally added into the Recharge, which a lot of people do feed additionally from you know other nutrients. And in my opinion, you don't need it. Now, the big thing that these microbes are going to help your plants do, number one, is they're going to store nutrients and they're going to make them more bioavailable for your plants. So in turn, what that means for you as a grower is that it's not going to take as much nutrients to reach your end goal. So the plants are going to store a lot more nutrients, one, and then two, it's going to make them a lot more easy for the plants to uptake them and absorb them. In, in, in essence, eat your food. So it's also going to increase your root growth and your overall health and your maintain your rhizosphere. So if you're really looking to have, you know, top quality herbs or medicinals, whatever, the, whatever you're growing, you really want to have a healthy rhizosphere. And Recharge is definitely one of the products that's going to help you achieve that. Now, it's great for all stages of growth. You just really want to stop it at the end of, you know, at week six for your medicinal plants. Other than that, you can grow it, you know, year round. I use it in my garden outside for my tomatoes, my peppers. Peppers. I literally use it on everything, including the grass. It works great. Um, now, the big thing here is, you know, how do you use it? So I've seen some people say, oh, let's go ahead and top dress it into the soil. You don't want to do that. You want to use Recharge as, a, uh, as an inoculant. You want it to be watered in. So what I recommend is just one tablespoon per gallon. It seems, you know, like a lot to some people. One tablespoon per gallon of water once a week. That's it. Doesn't require a lot. Some people will tell, tell you to feed it every two to three weeks. Once a week is perfect. Now, you can cut it down to where every time you are feeding, you can mix in, you know, a quarter teaspoon or a half a teaspoon of recharge into your feedings, and it's not going to cause you any issues. It would take an abundance of recharge to really cause you some problems. So you can get away with feeding on an every watering, but I personally recommend it every other watering, and I feed it at one tea, uh, teaspoon per gallon. And I have amazing success with it. It's definitely going to help with your garden health. It's definitely going to increase the quality of your garden and your crops. So I highly recommend it. Now, I am going to be covering another uh, microbial inoculant here Friday. So, Gromies, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today. I appreciate you guys coming in and watching the video. Leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite microbial inoculant product is, whether it's Mycos, Recharge, Great White, King Crab, uh, my, uh, whatever it is, Dynamycos. Let me know in the comments, Gromies. I appreciate you coming in and stopping by. Smoke a fat one and stay blessed.